Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. Okay, so we didn't get tons of snow yet. There's more on the way, but the winds are crazy. Like they're gonna be anywhere from 30 um, to up to 60 miles per hour today. So it is morning time, I'm walking out. As you saw, I blanketed all the horses, they're doing fine. But I think I'm gonna bring everybody in today. Stalls are ready to go. I'm gonna prep their food, put water in, bring them in. It's nuts. Um, we're supposed to get up to three to six inches. So not a ton of snow, but it's the wind that's a problem. And everything is icy because we got all this freezing rain and it turned to snow. So it's super slick out here. Kyle's gonna help me. Okay, so now I'm gonna prep all the food, do that really quick and bring the horses in. So I'm gonna do it really fast so we can get them inside. And we're gonna do their water and bring them in, get their blankets off because they're probably frozen from the freezing rain and then snow and cold. Making sure to give them extra salt so they have the minerals and electrolytes and that they drink. I'm gonna move quick here and get all their feed in their stalls so that I can bring them in. They'll all be happy eating their breakfast. And yeah, I'm just trying to move quick to get them in. Okay, all the green is prepared. We're gonna throw waters in the stall. Uh, we're not gonna film that because we just need to get it done and then get the horses in. Okay, so we got all the water, hay, grain in the stalls, salt blocks, ready to go. We're gonna head out, grab each horse, bring them in. And I don't know how long they're gonna be in today. They might honestly be in here for 24 hours with these wind chills. Um, horses can definitely survive wind chills, you know, negative 20, 30, but these guys aren't used to it. We don't have this here on a regular basis like they do out west and like Wyoming and Montana. So I, I think it's a good decision to bring them all in. So it's gonna be cold. It's super cold out there. Let's go. The gate lock is frozen shut, so I'm trying to breathe on it so in hopes it'll melt the ice off of it and then I can open it. So I could pour hot water on it, but then I'd have to go in the house, so this won't take too long. But yeah, basically reviving it, giving it CPR here. <laughs> okay, I got the gate unfrozen. Now it's time to bring everybody in. They're gonna be so happy in their stalls versus being in this crazy wind. It's super icy right here, despite the fact that we put salt down. So I'm just telling him to go really slow. The gravel's just as slick next to it. So it's kind of inevitable. Gotta love it. It's really icy out there. So this was a smart decision um, to put the blankets on so that they stayed dry the entire night. Um, and they still got to be out at least because like I said, they're going to be stuck in here today. wind is just getting worse minute by minute and like I said it's supposed to be up to 60 mile per hour gusts and like negative 30 to 35 like with the wind chill so I got Gaston here he got the new blankie and he's doing really well he looks fantastic so that's great he is happy to be in eating his grain he's such a pretty horse 
Now I'm grabbing Miss Bagheera. She is just such a sweetheart. I can't even explain how much I love her. So she's doing well despite being an older mare. She's 27, but she's all cozy in her blankie and she's happy to go inside and eat her grain. So I'm gonna take her blanket off. So some of the blanket clips were like frozen. Oh my goodness. Next up is Mr. Arlo. So yeah, he had a strap hanging down, but I'm just like, whatever. I'm gonna take it off when I get in the stall anyway. So I didn't stop to adjust it because like I said, some of the clips and the twists are like frozen. It's crazy. Now I have Mr. Olaf, who's my last one that's in that part of the paddock to come in. He is definitely excited to come in. Dry and cozy and warm. All right, now we're going to the far paddock to get the rest of the horses. This gate also needed CPR. I love how the horses come walking up right when they see me. They're all so sweet and precious. But like I said, I'm really happy that they did well overnight and that they could stay out one more night before they're stuck in the stalls for a little bit. Now I have Mr. Mushu, so we're gonna walk him in the barn. It looks like he did really well without a blanket, and I'm gonna talk about that after I put him in the stall and explain why I didn't put a blanket on him and how I know he's staying warm. So notice how notice how the snow is on the back of him. That means that his coat is working and insulating him and keeping him warm and dry. So that's a really good sign that he's healthy and he has a thick enough coat. So yeah, good boy. A few of you have asked why I didn't keep them in the indoor arena. Well, it's because we just redid the footing in there. We also store hay and it wouldn't be safe to have nine horses in there at once. Yes, I will give them breaks to like rotate them a couple at a time, but they're only gonna be in the stalls for one day. So it's not really necessary. Worst case scenario, if I was in an emergency, I would definitely utilize that, but I don't feel like it's the need to do that. I've done this for many years. I know how to manage my herd. And I think just keeping them in stalls just for a day is totally fine. I have Jafar in here. Look how good he looks. He's so sweet. So horse lovers, when you have horses, it doesn't matter what the weather is, how you're feeling, you have to get out and take care of them in all weather conditions, no matter how you're feeling, how the weather is, whatever the case may be. Um, it, having horses at home and managing a barn is not for the faint of heart, but I love it and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Jafar looks great. So he st everybody stayed nice and dry. So my plan worked. Yay. Peter running power for my shop. Not too far ahead of us. Again, good water for the horses.
Now I'm grabbing Mr. Prince Charming, and then last will be Little Buzz Lightyear. Prince Charming is doing fantastic, guys, so I'm so happy. I know you saw his most recent video. So proud of this boy. He is awesome, and he's doing great with, like, ground manners and all of his handling. He's so cool. He also got a new blankie, so I think he definitely appreciates that, and luckily it fit him. It's a 75-inch, so, I mean, it fits good enough for what we're using it for temporarily. And he looks great. Buzz Lightyear has been doing absolutely fantastic. He's been getting along with the herd great and the other horses. His training has been going really well. He has not been sassy like he was originally. I can't wait to show you an update video in the future showing his progression and how much better he is. So that makes me really happy. He's such a sweet boy and I'm so glad that he's at Free Spirit Farm now. Buzz is the only one that's a little cold and shivering, but I think he'll be okay. I'm glad that he's in now, so. He's got quite a thick coat and his is still insulating him. I think it's just the wind picked up recently and that's kind of what did it. So it wasn't as bad last night. Last night wasn't bad. It was just this morning. So everybody's in and happy. Yay. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you all the horses in their stalls and let's check them out. Got Mushu. Arlo. Hi Mushu. You guys good? Little Buzz, Bagheera, Gaston, <laughs> got Jiminy, <laughs> Munching that hay, Olaf, hi, Jafar, and Prince Charming. So I'm going to keep them in here all day. The winds are supposed to be crazy. And then I think I'll let them out Saturday morning. Um, so I'll be coming back out and showing you when we check on them, throwing them more hay, making sure their water is not frozen, all of that fun stuff. Yeah, so welcome to the barn blizzard here at Free Spirit Farm. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying so far. Also, thank you so much, Lynn, for these amazing black and pink muck boots. They are keeping my feet so warm and insulated. I appreciate it so much. I've been wearing them constantly, and they work great in the snow. All right, horse lovers, it is the afternoon. We put the horses in the barn around 8.30, and now it's like 12.30, almost 1 o'clock. So I'm heading out to the barn to do a check. The winds are horrendous. Like, it is so cold out here and awful. Look at all this crappy ice we got. Ugh, so windy. Like, it'll be fine, and then it'll pick up, like, a huge gust. So, let's go see how everyone's doing in here. How's everyone doing? Hi, babies! So, I'm going to check to make sure they all have enough hay and water. I know. You guys are like, why are we still in here? Bagheera. All right, let's check hay and water statuses here. All right, you still got plenty of hay. Add some water. Buzz has lots of hay still. His water should be good. Arlo's good on water. Plenty of hay. Poop, that's good. Mushu still has a decent amount of hay, too. I'm just shoving it in the corner. You being good boy? Let's see how you're going to need more water. Get you more. It's okay. I know. Gaston. Jiminy Christmas. Let's see how you're looking in here. All right, you spread your hay everywhere, first off.
your water looks good. I'm gonna throw Jiminy another flake. You threw your salt lick out too. Yeah, I'm just gonna give him one more flake. Hi, Prince Charming. Oh, listen to that wind, it's insane. Okay, I'm gonna give you another flake. Water looks good. Good boy, I know. Okay, so the horses that need hay and water, I'm gonna do that right now, give them a refill, and then I'll probably come back out in a few hours, check on them again, assess the weather. They're most likely gonna stay in all day today, Friday, and then I'll let them out probably tomorrow morning. If for some reason it seems okay, they might go out tonight, but I highly doubt that, but you know, we'll see. Okay, horse lovers, it's about 5 p.m. and we're going out and doing another check on the horses. We're gonna put hot water in their stall water buckets so that the ice freezes and add more. We're gonna give everybody hay. And then I'll probably come out again around nine or 10 to do a last night check. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna put them back out. So all is well. All right, we refilled everyone's hay and water. Right, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Oh, from the yeah, cats thing. So everyone's happy, warm and happy. All they have to be is in the stalls for basically less than 24 hours. Then they're going right back out tomorrow when the wind dies down a bit. So do what you gotta do. Huh, you happy? Good boy. I got crazy horse girl hair. Woohoo! <sighs> and like I said, I'll come check on him again tonight. Look how cute those ears are. Happy pony. There's our kitty. It's hard to see. Pepe, what? He's a feral cat that's been here for a while, so we take care of him. Hi, baby. I know, come eat. You warm up there in that hay? Okay, horse lovers, it is almost nine o'clock, so we are heading out to do the last night check on the horses, and then we'll see how they are in the morning. We wanna check the ponies? Let's go. Still super windy out with a wind chill of like negative 20 to 30, depending on the hour. But tomorrow morning is supposed to be great. So then we'll let the horses out then. They'll be so happy. See, it's not too far of a walk. I think we got a bit of snow, a bit more snow and it's drifting too. All right, same thing. We're gonna check everybody plus hay and water. All right, we got hot water from the house. So we're gonna dump this in the buckets to help with ice. Chill, buddy. That's good. Then we'll fill the rest with other water. Okay, I'm gonna add some to his. Yeah, he's been a lot of water. I know, that's good. Okay, horse lovers, we have all the horses tucked in for the night. We topped off everybody's water. They all needed it. Everybody needed hay. So they should be good to go and all cozy and warm tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna let them out. So they'll be able to get out, get some movement, and we'll be good to go. What an adventure. For those of you wondering how Penelope the potbelly pig did during this crazy winter storm, she was miserable, she was so cold. This poor pig, she's just completely unloved. Just kidding, she got to hang out on the couch and get snuggles and pets. Okay, so Leah, my student here, helped me today. So we just cleaned all nine stalls, bedded them, swept everything. All the horses are happy outside. I'll show you in a minute. So yeah, man, Christmas Eve, huh? <laughs> so yeah, and then also my vest has kept me warm the whole time. Link in the description. I love this thing. Comes with a battery pack, lasts a long time. I actually got hot, so I took off my coat and I'm just wearing my vest, so it works out well. So yeah. <laughs> Water troughs are great. Horses are happy. They got blankets, the shed. Hi guys. Everyone over here is excellent. I'll bring Buzz in tonight and I'll check Mushu. But it's not so bad out now. The wind is a lot better. This trough is good. Jafar is chilling over there. Hi buddy. Everyone's good. Koa's happy. Koa, you love this, don't you? Hey horse lovers, 
It is Christmas day. I'm so excited. We actually got like three inches of snow last night. So we endured the crazy blizzard and now we're gonna go for a short little ride in the snow. I'm so excited. This is like every horse girl's dream come true to go ride on Christmas day. So let's get the horses ready and then head out. Today I'm gonna be riding Jafar. He's my beautiful Frisian standard bred and my husband is gonna ride Arlo, my spotted saddle horse. Got Kyle and Arlo. Jafar and I. Okay, so we're getting ready to head out on the trail. You ready, buddy? Horse lovers, you have no idea how excited I am to ride in the snow on Christmas day. This is literally a dream come true. I know I said that already, but I am ecstatic, especially on Jafar. He's so gorgeous. And the contrast with his beautiful black coat against the beautiful white snow, it's like a winter wonderland. So I'm excited to bring you with me. This is fantastic best Christmas present I could ever ask for. These trails are right next to our property. It's about 20 acres, but it's fantastic because we can just have fun and go for little hacks. It's great for training or cooling down or just like for relaxation. And there is a little field that we can trot and canter in. So I'm really happy to have these right here. It truly is so beautiful in the snow. And I love that it's snowing too. Okay, horse lovers, come follow me for an enchanting ride in winter wonderland. We're going to do some trotting and cantering, and I'm just going to let you watch. Really hope that you enjoy this Christmas ride with us.
much fun. Jafar's being a good boy. Beautiful. Okay, so we're just going for a little longer ride, then we're gonna head back to the barn. Just a short ride today. Make sure you don't forget to comment on this video. I want to hear all of your thoughts on all of the winter care and then our fun winter ride. It's fun to see all the different days combined and then the different aspects of winter care and riding. I'm really proud of how Jafar is doing on this trail ride. He's fantastic and he's doing really well in the snow. It's my first time riding him in the snow, I think. Actually, no, I did it one time, but it was only in the yard. So this is the first time taking him on these trails in the snow. And he's being super sweet. As difficult as it can be taking care of horses in the winter, my favorite thing is riding in the snow. I actually adore winter riding. And I think it's really great that we get all of the seasons here in Michigan so that the horses get used to all different types of footing, whether it's, you know, muddy or snowy or dry or whatever the case may be. And we get to ride them all throughout the four seasons. So that's pretty great. And I, I try to look at the positives and I'm just very thankful for what we have. And I'm grateful that we have these trails to ride on near the barn and that I can take the horses out pretty much anytime I want. And it's really just fantastic. I'm also thankful that I get to ride Jafar on the trails again and have this experience with him. Again, he will be for sale in the future. I don't know if that's going to be, you know, more short term soon or if it's going to be several months from now or years. I'm not quite sure what the future holds, but I'm thankful for our time together now and all the fun memories we're going to make plus training. And he's just such a cool horse and he's being so good today. I'm very proud of him, especially since they were cooped up in the stalls on Friday. So he's doing fantastic. Arlo is also taking care of Kyle and it was fun to see them trot on the trail together. They're just so cute and he is such a sweet horse too. He always takes care of his riders. Okay, so we're going to give the horses some peppermint treats that you guys got them. Guys. All right, let's give the other horses some. One more, Olaf. Good boy. You guys are so cute. Merry Christmas. Carlos too busy harassing. Get buzz one. Get Buzz one more. Over. Get Buzz one more. Oh, he can't have more. He can't. He's too small. Yeah. All right. Yes, Jafar's not coming over. I did give him a treat in the stall, so it's okay. Okay, horse lovers, I really hope that you enjoyed this whole video, seeing a few days of how we handled the winter storm and the wind, and then we got to enjoy ourselves on Christmas Day. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian. If you want to support us, you can buy us something off our Amazon wish list. Link down there in the description. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Free Spirit Equestrian. Bye!